What were you dressed today? That's the question. And do you miss getting dressed up for occasions, for a night yeah. out, for formalities? Yeah, because it's easy, isn't it, to just be at home in your tracky bottoms and a T-shirt, like I've been doing most of the time. Oh, no, no. Let people imagine you're always there in a floral Doris Day In a floral dress, dress with a little pinny Looking absolutely cleaning. lovely. <laughs> and let's go to our first guest this morning, who aren't letting lockdown stopping them from getting their best clothes out. Who are they, Ruth? This is the Borg Neal family. They've been keeping uh, their evenings very interesting because uh, they're going through... Good morning, gang. Going through all their fancy <laughs> dress costumes. There they are. Peter, Megan, Helena, Matt and look, John look, T. There look, they are. Look, 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 they've look. got 007 themes. They've had uh, Oktoberfest. Oh, I mean, I'm just intrigued of where they got the costumes. So good morning to you all. Oh, good, good, morning. Morning. good morning. Who are you dressed as this morning? Can't quite see. Oh, oh, it's Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Peter, that's you at the front, I'm assuming, as Geoffrey. That's right. <laughs> Introduce us to the family. So, this. Um, <laughs> what do you want? John D. <laughs> Hi, I'm John D. Helena. Hello. Hello, Matt. Helena. Hello. Um, <laughs> now, uh, Peter, you're married to Megan. Yes. Yeah. And Helena, Megan is your daughter. Yes. Um, and then John T, where's John T? Wave at us, John T. Your uh, godson. But I have to come to Matt first, because, Matt, you're Helena's boyfriend. Yeah, um, so you're not family. <laughs> so this uh, is a very interesting way of bonding, isn't it? Whose idea was it and what did you think about it? Uh, I just dive straight in. There's nothing else you can do. <laughs> <laughs> it was unexpected. It's good fun, isn't it? I mean, I, th I think it started with Megan kind of said, look, you know, on lockdown, we can't just, like, be sponsored all day. We've got to kind of dress for dinner and we'll meet and have a drink. And it kind of went, no, it didn't bother me. Yes, it did. And it was just quite a nice time for us to sort of bond and also raise a glass to our friends that we weren't able to see and also ones that went well, so... So, well, it went so well. You, you put it online for your friends, obviously, and then everybody was picking up on this. But I, where are you getting your costumes from? Because they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, 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 we kind of go to quite a few festivals, so we, we have them. And then in my, in my business, um, it's a pub company called Oakland Inns, we have a thing called Oak Fest every year where we all have to dress up. So, you know, we've kind of accumulated stuff, and then the, the girls have been really innovative. But then as we started to run out, people have started to send us stuff. So that's kind of kept us going. But, Helena, do you really think it's worth all the effort? Um, you know, whether people dress up in fancy dress or whether they just dress... Do you think effort is important during these times? Yeah, definitely. I think it's definitely added some structure to our day. Um, it's nice to put on a face of makeup at some point in the day, at least. <laughs> uh, just to remember how to do it. Um, but it's also quite fun to put on the um, put on the costumes and the hoods and stuff and make everyone laugh on Facebook. And Peter, you've posted all of this on Facebook, as you said there. What sort of reaction are you getting? And is this something you would recommend for other people to do? Well, I, I guess so. I think um, what's nice is quite a few people have dropped this note saying, look, you know, I'm, I'm in lockdown on my own and I'm, you know, sort of bored and, and it just brings a bit of fun and they sort of look forward to it every night. And so, yeah, we, we kind of feel obliged to, to keep on going. <laughs> it's sort of getting crazy momentum of its own over time and there's people in USA and Poland and Australia and South Africa in particular all, all watching it every night. So, yeah, we, we, we kind of feel we have to keep on going. <laughs> If you started something, you might not be able to stop for quite some time. <laughs> so, so it's rainbow tonight. Uh, what, what's, what's next? What's going to happen over the weekend? Uh, well, we, 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 we really know until the last minute. Um, yeah, we kind of we do try and keep it a secret as much as possible, so it's more of a surprise when we do post it. Um, but, yeah, it is kind of on the spot. We, it takes a lot of planning, and then kind of once we get to around half past six, it's kind of, OK, we need to start getting dressed. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad to see you all laughing and having to chuckle there. But, Peter, you know, as a, as a business person, it's really interesting. Um, you are the founder and chief executive of Oakman Inns, 28 pubs and hotels. My goodness mm -hmm. me, your industry has been hit hard by all of this. Yeah, you know, it's, it's tough times and, um, you know, I'm at it all day. I'm, I'm at my desk at six every morning. You know, we've got a, uh, nearly a thousand people on furlough. Um, we, we're having to deal with loads of stuff. We're trying to kind of work out these loans. So there's a ton to do. And, and do you know what? It's a good thing I have to kind of stop at six and, and spend some time with the family and do something that's fun. Um, I think it's actually helped me kind of keep myself together and, and uh, to make sure that, you know, I can actually keep on being effective. 
Well, you guys keep yeah. well. Uh, thanks for giving us a smile this morning <laughs> and, um, and continue to do what you're doing. But thank the, you very much indeed. All. That's the Borg Neils there. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. From Buckinghamshire. Um, That's so. a lot of effort, isn't it? It's a lot of effort. I, I suspect you, you'd wriggle out of it. You wouldn't really do it. I can we maybe do it once thing. or twice, but you imagine every evening oh, on a, top of the washing ironing cooking. What about a Star cooking. Trek evening? <laughs> what? You could be my lieutenant. Sort of Uhura, Uhura or what she's called. <laughs> Thing is, you've probably got the outfit somewhere, haven't you? Wow. I yeah. Have to say. You've got quite a lot of dressing up stuff. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>